Hey guys, this is Alicia and I'm back with another of our favorite homeschool resources. I'm accompanied today by my kids. Say hey kiddos. Hey kiddos. Okay, we're gonna demonstrate uh, the favorite resource for today and that is sentence dictation. So before I get into exposition, I'm going to get them started on their first sentence. Number 29, I was patient with my greatest critic. I was patient with my greatest critic. Now, sentence dictation has been around for a long time. I'm thinking one room schoolhouse and you'll notice I have all four of my kiddos here the from the 11 year old down to the seven year old and they're all doing the same work because I don't have the bandwidth to do four different lessons for four different kiddos. I won't have the time or the mental energy to pull that out. So I typically, when at all possible, teach to the oldest kid and whatever uh, she is capable of doing, we, we, it's called, I call it cookie crumbs. The little ones catch the cookie crumbs and you'd be surprised how much the younger ones can actually uh, hang and pick up things. So number two or 20, number 30, he spelled the word attic with a capital letter. So what sentence dictation does is it teaches listening skills. We grew to the point where now I only say the sentence twice. So they have to learn how to have the short term memory to remember what I said and pay attention and the attention skills to pay attention and uh, actually remember it. Second, uh, it also helps on general grammar, grammar, spelling, and writing because what we do is we read the sentences and when they're all done, they check their own sentences, sentences and rewrite the ones. If there's any punctuation, capitalization, spelling errors, they have to rewrite the entire sentence. Now, I didn't come up with these awesome sentences myself. This is actually from a resource called The Good and the Beautiful and believe it or not, the PDF version is free. Yes, free in which is a, a godsend when you have a lot of kids to get stuff for and budget is limited. Uh, and But you also have the option of purchasing the physical example. So everyone, let's do 31. 31. Traffic was slow in the capital city. So I've put, I'm using my iPad. I like to use my iPad because one, I didn't buy myself a copy of the uh, Creative Companion that, and I just got one from my girls that are mainly using this as their spine for uh, English language arts. Uh, and I also, I always have this on me. So when we travel or uh, just when I'm, I've misplaced my own stuff, I can use this and I like writing on it. I, I use, no, I imported this into Notability. Again, the PDF is free. And when I, I've done, a sentence I'll highlight it in a different color for that day and what you'll notice and the reason why it's a different color is because we do the sentences over and over you keep track as you go of which ones there were errors in and if there was an error you keep doing the sentence until the child uh, on a different day until the child no longer makes mistakes number 32 yeah, yes. I picked a bouquet of lilacs this week I picked a bouquet of lilacs this week. And so I will highlight it in that color if there's any overlap. So I'll put this out for the kids to, to look at and correct their work. And I'll also, here's the copy of the physical book. You'll notice each of these set of sentences, there are, I don't know how many there are because we're not all the way through them yet. Let me see. How many pages of sentence dictations exercises are in the good and beautiful 16 so there's 16 full pages of about 35 sentences and each page focuses on a different skill so they have commonly uh, confused words like accept and accept and homophones and grammar and punctuation so each group of sentences has a different focus area oh you guys are waiting on me okay 33 
we will continue to use the metric system. We will continue to use the metric system. And so I really, again, we, we keep reading them and then we'll overlap. And typically they recommend that you do five or six sentences a day. It's a very short thing. We try and do this uh, daily, every school day. Uh, and what like I said, it's one of those things that a little bit of practice every day instead of making it a long, tedious thing goes a long way. This um, subject matter book also goes through the, it's also the answer guide for their English language arts and what else? Oh, and it has some of their memorization things in here. It also goes through, it has the explanations included. Like I said, like I showed you on the other one, the sentence dictation exercises focused on accept and accept. So they do have explanations so you don't have to come up with those yourself. The next one, 30, what are you on, 34 guys? Yes. The Capitol building is historic. The Capitol building is historic. And he said, I like the good and the beautiful, but honestly, you can do this with just about any group of sentences. I'm sure there's something online as well. Um, I, when I first started homeschooling, I got this, I used this years ago, and these are oral language exercises. The goal is to improve grammar and dictation and speaking through repeating the sentences, things like that you might fall into using colloquialisms or not really know how to do the proper grammar just because you speak differently uh, on everyday speech. You can practice how it's actually supposed to be said. And this is from Abeka. We started with Abeka because that's what homeschoolers do, right? Everybody starts with a Becca. I'm joking. It's a joke. And last one, guys. Is 30 35. Are you comfortable in that tunic? No. Are you comfortable in that tunic? So now, and again, this is an app called Notability. You can put any PDF in here. That I like to put the good and the beautiful on here. Now that I have it, the ones that we did today, I've highlighted in, in yellow. So I'm gonna just do it like that. So that's all that's on there. And then when they're ready to check them, I'm gonna set it down and they can check their work. You guys over here, good. You guys over here are done. And it's also, Lucy, you wanna open to the page, you can find it in here and you and Josh can work off of that. So I'm probably gonna do a separate video where I talk about the good and the beautiful. Here, find it here, I don't know which one it is. Where I'm talking about the good and the beautiful in general, um, it is a really, like I said, great curriculum to use if your budget is limited because you can print out the PDFs or, um, you know, and you can preview it. So you don't have to, you can try before you buy and see if you actually like it. Um, again, I'll go into more of that on the actual day, but as you can see, they're in the process of checking their work when they're done. And I'll show you some examples after this, I'll scan them in and put them up here on the screen, some examples of their work. But again, they will continue to do the sentences. We will reuse the sentences on different days until they uh, do not make any errors on the sentence. Now, sometimes, especially when we've done these sentences before, so they're somewhat familiar with uh, things that should be correcting previous mistakes. But when we start new sentences or when we go on a whole new set of uh, concepts, what I often will end up doing to challenge the older two is I'll say, okay, this was just for the girls and I'll give them two or three more sentences while the boys are uh, working with the newer sentences and newer concepts. So it, this one went pretty smoothly because it's doing its job. They are uh, used to writing a lot of these words and are familiar. They've made their mistakes already. So this time it shouldn't be so many mistakes. They should be correcting some of those. So as you can see, we're not even at 10 minutes yet. And this is a valuable, uh, one of my favorite homeschool resources. You can do it run and gun. You can do it uh, if you're out and you don't need a, a lot of, you really don't need anything but some paper and uh, pencils. And that's about it. it, under 10 minutes. And it's quick and easy and it makes a big impact in my humble opinion. So thank you guys. If you have any questions, anything you want to highlight or talk about in 
specifically put it in the comments put it in the comments <laughs> bye everybody say bye guys bye guys bye kiddos and what ups